Neville's cold. I suffer dreadfully and no one cares, said Neville one day. Rubbish, Neville, said Gordon. You don't work hard enough and chuffed away. But Neville is smaller than Gordon, but bigger than Proteus. Sometimes he can pull trains and sometimes he feel like that he had no strength at all. The fat controller came to see him. You're too expensive, Neville, he said. We gave you new parts and a new firebox, but they've done you no good. If we can't make you better, we must get another engine instead of you. This made Neville, his driver and his fireman very sad. Just then Neville was ready to catch his to catch his passenger train with the fat controller. Instead, he took off his hat and coat and put all overalls on. Neville was doing it a little, a little bit fine, while the fat, while the driver was telling Nev, was, while Neville's driver was telling the fat controller all about Neville's steam. Neville is a bad steamer, he said to the fat controller. We built up this fire, but it doesn't give us enough heat. Neville tried really hard, and he couldn't puff at all. He felt even more sad than he always is. Then he came to a stop outside the yards. My lady was there. Oh dear, said Neville sadly. I shall have to go away. Oh dear, oh dear. They drove him backwards into a shed. They drove him. They reversed Neville into the sheds while while lady took charge of the train. Excuse me, sir, said the fa excuse me, sir, said the fireman. But in fact is the coal is wrong. We must have get we must have got them from the coal from an old scrapyard while Neville was still a new engine to the railway. It ex it is expensive, said the fat controller, but Neville must have another preferred chance. Gordon will go and fetch them. But Neville didn't want to. He felt very, very sad. When the Welsh coal was ready at last, and then Neville's driver was ready to make him feel much better. How are you, Neville? he said. T Today we will bring you some more fire, my old boy. They carefully moved this fire, and they put some more like an out outside from a wall. And they, and they, they carefully moved, he carefully moved his fire, and, and it made, and he made it look like an, like a wall from the outside. You're spoiling my fire, complained Neville. Wait and, wait and see, said the fireman. We'll have a roaring fire, just what we wanted. And then Neville was ready. How are you, Neville? said the fat controller. Peep, peep, whistled Neville. I feel fine. Did you give him a good fire driver? Never better, sir, he said. Good, said the fat controller. And as for you, fireman and driver, no record breaking. Don't push him too hard. Peep, 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 whistled Neville happy and chucked away. Neville was happy, and then he got enough steam. He wanted to go faster, but his driver wouldn't let him. Steady old fellow, said his driver. There's plenty of time. At last, Neville arrived with his passenger train next to Thomas. Where have you been, a eh, Lady Bones? He asked. Oh, I can't tell you all. Where have you been, Lady Bones? Neville... Neville said to Thomas, Oh, I forgot something, he said. He said to himself, I can't talk right now. Goodbye. As he thundered away. Whoosh, said, said Thomas to Annie and Clarabel. You never seen him in this kind of mood before. Annie and Clarabel didn't, and they never heard of it before. And they should have in a long, long time. <laughs>